All right, let's continue our discussion on linear equations and systems of linear equations. So a system of linear equations is simply a collection of two or more linear equations. So some examples of systems of linear equations may include this one, 4x plus 2y is equal to 5, and x minus 7y is equal to negative 3. These two equations are in a pair and are a system of linear equations. Both equations in this system are linear, right? By our definitions given in the previous video. Another system of linear equations might be something like x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 4, 5x1 plus 3x2 is equal to negative 1, and 2x1 minus x2 is equal to 0. <clears throat> Finally, another example of a system of linear equations might be x1 plus 2x2 plus 3x3 is equal to negative 1, and 3x1 plus 4x2 minus 3x3 is equal to 4. So I'm going to give each one of these system of linear equations a number. I'm going to have the first one called 1, the second one called 2, and the third one called 3. So I want you to notice that system of linear equations may have one of three cases. The first case may be that the number of n unknowns in the system of linear equations will be equal to the number of equations. So in our first one, number one, in each equation we only have two unknowns, x and y. So there's only two unknowns. And how many equations are there? Well, there's one, two, two equations. So in this case, in, in one, we have two unknowns and two equations. In other cases, we may have the number of unknowns less than the number of equations. So if we look at two, in each one of these equations, we have one, two, two unknowns, right? X1 and X2, there is no X3 or some other variable. So we have two unknowns, and we have one, two, three equations. Equations. So in this case, our number of unknowns is less than the number of equations. So we have two unknowns is less than three equations, right? And finally, in the last one, three, we have three unknowns in each equation, one, x1, x2, and x3, and we only have one, two equations. So in this case, we have three unknowns, and we only have two equations. So these are just the different scenarios that we can have with system of linear equations. And we can use system of linear equations to determine if a solution set is valid. So for an example, if we did a small example down here, example, let's say we had a system of linear equations with two equations. The first equation was 4x plus 2y is equal to 5. And the second equation was x minus 7y is equal to negative 3. So I'm going to say this is equation 1, this is equation 2. And we want to determine if the solution set x equals 11 and y equals 2 satisfies this system of linear equations. So this right here is the solution set. So how do we determine if this solution set satisfies this system of linear equations? Well, it's actually pretty simple. We take the values for x and y and we plug it into each of the equations. So for the first equation, we have 4 times x is 11 plus 2 times y is 2 is equal to 5. And in the second equation, 
we have x, which is 11, minus 7 times y, which is 2, is equal to negative 3. And so for the top one, the first equation, 4 times 11 is 44, right? Plus 2 times 2 is 4, and that's equal to 5. In the second equation, the bottom one, we have 11 minus 7 times 2, which is 14, right? Minus 14 is equal to negative 3. So if we continue this, the top equation, we have 44 plus 4 is 48. 48 equals 5. Well, there's something wrong there, right? We know enough math to determine that 48 does not equal 5. So the first equation cannot be true because the left-hand side, 48, does not equal the right-hand side. What if we look at equation 2? We have 11 minus 14 which is negative 3, is equal to negative 3. Well, this is true, right? Negative 3 is equal to negative 3, but 48 is not equal to 5. So because the solution set x equals 11 and y equals 2 did not satisfy all of the equations in this system of linear equations, this solution set is not valid, right? And there may be times where a solution, or I'm sorry, a system of linear equations may not have a solution at all. For an example, if we had this set of equations, the system of linear equations, x minus 3y is equal to 7, and x minus 3y is equal to negative 2. This does not have a solution because the left-hand side for both of these equations are exactly the same. The left-hand side is simply x minus 3y, but the right-hand side is different for both of these equations. So how can x minus 3y equal 7 in one equation, but then x minus 3y equal negative 2 in another equation within the same system of linear equations? Intuitively, you can see that this is not true, so this solution, or this system of linear equations, does not have a solution set. There are, might also be times where a solution might have multiple or infinite number or an infinite number of, of solution sets. So in this example the system of linear equations is given as x plus 2y is equal to 4 and negative x over 2 minus y is equal to negative 2. So the possible solution sets I'm actually going to list down in a table so x and y values. The first one is 0 and 2. So that means if we plugged in x equals 0 and y equals 2 into both of these equations both equations would be satisfied therefore this solution set of 0 and 2 would be a valid solution set of this system of linear equations. So let's do that. I'm going to try this first solution set in blue. So x is 0, so we're going to get for the first equation 0 plus 2 times y, y is 2, right, is equal to 4. And we can see that that's true, right? So 2 times 2 is 4 plus 0 is 4 equals 4, so this is good, right? And in the second equation we have negative x over 2x is 0 over 2 minus y, which is 2, is equal to negative 2, right? So 0 over 2 is simply 0. Minus 2 is equal to minus 2. Good, right? Let's try a different solution set. 1 for x and 3 over 2 for y. So if I plug these two values in, to this, this system of linear equations, we should get that both equations are satisfied. So in green, x is 1 plus 2 times y, y is 3 over 2, is equal to 4, and on the bottom we have negative x over 2, x is 1 over 2 minus y, which is 3 over 2, is equal to negative 2. So for the first equation we have 1 plus 2 times 3 over 2. Well, 2 times 3 over 2 is just 3, right? So 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. 
is equal to 4. Well, that's good. And on the bottom, we have negative 1 half minus 3 halves is equal to negative 2. So minus 1 half minus 3 halves is, in fact, negative 2. And that is equal to the right-hand side, which is negative 2. So this works. Let's try one more. If we, I'll do that in red. If another solution set would be 2 and 1, so 2 for x and y equals 1. So again, we take the solution set of 2 over 1, and we plug it into the system of linear equations. So for the first equation, we have 2 plus 2 times y is 1 is equal to 4. Well, this is true, right? Because 2 plus 2 times 1 is 4. So 4 equals 4. Great. For the second equation, we have negative x over 2. x is 2, right? Over 2 minus y, which is 1, is equal to negative 2. Well, if we do the math here, negative 2 over 2 is just negative 1. So negative 1 minus 1 is, in fact, negative 2. And again, this is possible. This is valid. So for this system of linear equations, we actually have many, we have many solution sets.